Hi, my beautiful soul family. I hope that you're all doing well. So let's get started with the singing bowl. And the reason why I use this is to clear my energy and space. And I will do the same thing for you. I will invoke Archangel Uriel for that. Then I will invoke Archangel Raphael to help also to uh, extend you healings. Uh, and also I will uh, invoke Archangel Michael to for a breakthrough. I will invoke Archangel Gabriel to uh, raise the frequency of the collective with intentions of peace, love, harmony. You could also put your intentions and uh, also Metatron as well. So uh, let's get started with your singing bowl. Clear my energy and space and do the same thing for you. Invoking Archangel Raphael to send healings to everyone here who wants to embrace. Invoking Archangel Michael for breakthroughs. And last but not least, invoking Archangel Gabriel to raise the frequency for the collective with love. I want to also thank everybody here for all the beautiful donations that you have been giving me. Very humble and grateful for that experience. For those of you that want to know where the donation button, it's underneath the video as well on the front page of my YouTube on the right hand top corner and in the about sections. Again, thank you all for all the beautiful donations. Also, uh, for all of you out there, uh, just remember that my mom is still praying for all of you. So if there is any uh, messages that you want to relate to her, please let me know so I can relate them to her. Again, she sends you her love and light. I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart for this beautiful experience. Remember, you're not just my subscribers. You are my family. Okay, so I could feel your energy, you know, even by you watching me, I could feel your energy. You are beautiful souls. And again, I want to thank everybody here for all the love and support. And so let's get started with your readings. Hi, Capricorn, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from November 2nd to the 8th, 2020. I hope that you're all doing well. I'm so happy that all of you are here with me. <laughs> Let me fix this. Okay, I'm so happy that all of you are here with me at this time. Okay, uh, so let's get started with your affirmation, okay, for the week. I hope that you're all doing well, my beautiful Cappies. Uh, I hope that you're all hanging in there with this uh, Saturn energy and so many uh, squares at this time that's taking place. Oh, first card out you got is number 25, Spirit Guides. So this is your card, Spirit Guides. And your affirmation is, I open my heart to my guides and trust in the wisdom they share with me. I, op I open my heart to my guides and trust in the wisdom they share with me. So this is uh, your card, affirmation card for the week. Now let's look at the Gaia Oracle. Um, so the, this, uh, this Oracle, it could be for confirmations for some of you. Also, uh, Gaia is letting me know what you have been through, uh, what is taking place in your life and what's coming towards you. Even if things don't seem like it in the reading, this is a way for them, sh uh, Gaia, uh, showing you, uh, what is coming towards you. Okay. Cut the cards in three. Like I said, I pre-shuffled the cards before and... Let's see what's going on for my beautiful Capricorns here. I hope that you're all doing well. Capricorn. One card out, two cards, and three cards out. Okay. So, let's look at the other cards. So, you've got um, the Temptress. 
seduction, deceit, and a broken promise. Okay, this is the first card you have. Then you have Moonlight Goddess. Moonlight Goddess. Sorry for the reflection here. I didn't know there was a reflection here. Okay, Moonlight Goddess here. And this talks about repressed emotions, healing, and reflection is taking place. This is almost like, this could be, uh, you know, the Virgo card, Hermit energy, where you're going within, taking time out, uh, releasing energy, reflection, reassessing at this individual. Also could talk about the Taurus full moon that's coming up, uh, which is the blue moon on the 30, uh, I think it's on the 31st. I'm not sure anyways, I'm not gonna, I think, yeah, I think it's on the 31st of October. Uh, the temptress energy, uh, this could also talk about, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of deceit at this time, uh, people giving you broken promises or just uh, something with the heart chakra. And last but not least, you got eternal love, eternal love. And this talks about happiness, harmony, and fulfillment of wishes. And yes, you can see there's a rainbow. So as you're purging, you're releasing, as you're doing what you need to do, uh, I do see a very positive aspect, aspect to this. It could be eternal love within yourself or in within a person, okay? So now let's start clarifying the cards. Not clarifying, what am I saying? Sorry. <laughs> okay, omit that part. Capricorn. So uh, this reading is for Capricorn Sun. Anywhere that you have Capricorn in your chart. Um, this is a general reading. If it resonates with you, you could claim it. If it does not resonate, look at your rising, your sun sign. Your moon is about emotions. Venus is about love. Mercury about communication. But also look at your north node. For those of you that are reawakening and want to know what your soul path or, uh, or path is or your mission or purpose, look at your north node. And for those of you that are doing the work and like you're doing something over and over again and you, you feel like you're stagnant in the situation or things are not moving, everything is always moving and in flow, always. There's nothing that's really stuck, okay? Uh, but let's say you're, you're, you're wanting to break, three, break free from that. Look at karmically what it is in your north node from other past lives and in this past life here, in this lifetime here, that you need to release to go to the next paradigm shift. You could find that on Google. Everything is free on Google, okay? So you go on Google and write down free birth chart and then go to your north node and then go dig deeper and look at your karm karmically what it is you need to do, okay? So uh, in this reading, I will show you where you're at, Capricorn. Uh, what's coming, what is crossing you, what spirit wants you to focus on, your recent past, uh, your current energy, what's crowning you, your immediate future, uh, and extremely influences that you cannot see in the outcome. And then I will clarify as spirit will lead me to. Okay. So let's get started here. This is for Capricorn. November 2nd to the 8th. First card out is the Five of Pentacles. What is crossing you is the emperor reversed. What spirit wants you to focus on is the justice card. Your recent past, uh, you got the six of cups energy. What is crowning you right now is the ace of swords. What's coming towards you is the shadow side aspect of yourself or an individual that you're dealing with. What is supporting you is the four swords reversed. External influences is Scorpio energy, the death card. And um, in your hopes and fears, you got uh, the Eight of Cups. And, you know, Taurus also had the same card here. The Eight of Cups at the same place. Maybe you have Taurus in your chart. And if you do have a lot of Taurus in your chart, or just also check that reading. And the, uh, the outcome energy here. What's the outcome for Capricorn? You got the four, the the four cups reversed, and what I see here is overall energy. The Queen of Pentacles. Maybe this is you, uh, Capricorn. You're standing in your power. You're grounded. You're reliable. You're in security here. Uh, uh, reliable material things. It's also about motherly energy as well. Very supportive energy. It could be a job. This is a person. It could be you. 
We could be dealing with another person, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Where you are now is the Five of Pentacles. So you're feeling left out of a situation here. For some of you, you're feeling ghosted, left out of a situation. You can't understand. Some of you feeling that you don't deserve. Self-worth is in this. Uh, I, I, I'm picking up self-worth for some of you. I'm also picking up like feeling that you're not deserving of it or feeling lack of some type of thing. Or others of you feeling that you're not going to have enough money for what is taking place now. Uh, but overall energy, look at the Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? Something that you needed to surrender and let go control of. And maybe for some of you, this took place when Mars went in, into, uh, uh, with uh, Mars and Aries went in a retrograde of the ninth and the ninth. Some of you had to let go, uh, let go of the control, okay? There's a letting go. It's about surrendering to a situation here. Maybe you're dealing with an Aries. What Spirit wants to focus on is this Justice card. And this is a very powerful card because this talks about something that, uh, the truth uh, someone standing in their truth and integrity and something is coming into balance. There's balance here, okay? Uh, and anybody that's involved in this, this situation that you're in, everybody is, everything is going to be resolved perfectly for everybody. Maybe you're dealing with a Libra. In the recent past, you got the Six of Cups energy. There's a lot of nostalgic memory here, a lot of heartbreak also. I feel that there is healing that needs to be done in this situation as well. I see that with the Six of Cups energy. It could be someone from your past, uh, where you are now, the current energy, little to no communication, uh, with is something here it could be work, a person in your life, whatever it is, there's no, maybe little to no communication, confusion, not seeing things clearly, not seeing something clear. Okay. Or no communication whatsoever. Uh, in the mid future, you got the, the shadow side energy. <clears throat> this talks about being in the shadow side. Maybe some of you are still going through the dark night of the soul because, uh, right now, uh, Saturn in Capricorn is and with Mars in retrograde, Mercury in Scorpio retrograde, and everything that's taking place, the squares, Pluto, all this, a lot of transformations are being done. But some of you are in a dark moment or you're dealing with someone that is in that situation. And uh, what is supporting you is the Four of, of uh, Swords reverse. This talks about where you're coming out of a break. Time out, you're coming out of a healing process, or this is the individual that you're dealing with, uh, where there was time out, a break. What is external influences? Scorpio energy here. Uh, this can be also now Mercury and retrograde. Also sometimes uh, brings back communication, right, from someone from the past. Doesn't have to be. Uh, this talks about death and rebirth, an ending of a situation, an ending of a cycle, an ending of a job, an ending of a relationship. There's some type of ending that's taking place here. It could be a job. It could be uh, also a family member. It could be anybody. There's a death and transformation that's taking place here, and uh, it's about uh, accepting what's taking place, okay? Um, then in the hopes and fears, you got the Eight of Cups energy. It's about walking away. Okay, uh, walking away from a situation, a path, and going towards the ninth and the tenth. Walking away from no communication, not getting clarity, uh, feeling lack of, maybe you're feeling ghosted in, in, in a situation here. And the last card you got is the Four Cups Reverse, which talks about where there's some type of acceptance that took place here. Okay, an opportunity of accepting something. Now, let's look, let's start clarifying the cards for you, Capricorn. Let's look at the Five of Pentacles. Why is this Five of Pentacles here? You got the Ten of Coins. Nice. From the Five, you went to the Ten. That's awesome. Unexpected money. This could be a business that's going to be doing great. This could be about a family situation. Okay. Um, the Three of Swords reversed. Nice. And the Seven of Cups. A lot of choices here. A lot of you are dreaming big at this time. There's a lot of choices here with the Seven of Cups energy. There's a healing that took place, okay, with the Three of Swords reversed. Maybe there was a heartbreak, but I do see that there was a lot of, a lot of healing. 
uh, taking place and you do have big dreams and aspirations here there could be a bit of confusion and what exactly what you want okay maybe some of you are still feeling the lack of of a situation okay like not sure if you're going to walk away from a situation whatever it is here from the five you jump to the ten of pentacles which talks to me about unexpected money this is like a strong foundation in a business in a friendship in a relationship whatever your situation is here there could also be unexpected money coming towards you amazing it's a new beginning that's taking place now let's look at this emperor reversed here and what's crossing you emperor reversed why is the emperor reversed here you got the star card nice aquarius energy the ace of cups I think the moment that you let go of control of the outcome, that's when it's going to come to you. The Queen of Coins again and the Ace of Wands. Beautiful energy here. So uh, this could be uh, for sure, like this is what they're telling me. This uh, has to do with the Mars energy going in retrograde on the 9th of the 9th. Some of you had to let go of control uh, or uh, uh, let go of control of an outcome for it to come to you. You had to learn it from the law of attraction and that's what you've been doing. This is about you wishing upon a star. And I know it sounds cliche, but it's the truth. The star card. It's you wishing upon a star. And there's a healing and a balance. There's a healing that's coming towards you and a blessing. Um, this is about restoring your faith in a situation. Restoring faith in a situation here. And it talks about the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands energy. Okay? Passion in every area of your life. The Ace of Cups talks about passion. The Ace of Cups talks about love, I mean. And it's about in start of a new relationship for some of you. Yes, this could be it. Relationship, passion, love. And look at this. This could be like just you returning to unconditional love as well. A new relationship, whatever you're passionate about. Again, you got the Queen of Pentacles twice. So you're coming in twice. Okay, very stable here. Um, very reliable. Also very, uh, you know, not only reliable, but very successful. Okay, I see victory here. Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. You've been working hard. Let's look at the justice card. Oh, okay. I got the strength card, the fool card, and the four of coins. Don't hold back. Capricorn. If you're holding back on something, do not hold back. If it's with a Libra, maybe, or a situation, the truth is coming in with integrity here. Okay, it's about opening your heart and going for it. Okay, because I do see like really very strong here, internal love. And uh, maybe some of you are dealing with a Leo energy. Could be. doesn't have to be because I do have other signs here. Um, but uh, this is about having the courage, having the strength to move forward, about taming within. There's a lot of healing that's taking place here or has been taking place for you. Uh, open that heart chakra. Open that heart chakra and do not hold back because you need to take a leap of faith. Some of you need to take a leap of faith in a situation here. Okay. There's a, some type of leap of faith that has to be taken. It's too bright okay this light is almost killing me okay it's too bright okay so anyways uh it's about um taking that leap of faith okay now let's look at the six of cups energy six of cups oh did i take a card wait a second i have to find that card okay i'll find it after it's right here okay Let's look at the Six of Cups energy in the recent past here. Oh, you see Sandy sleeping behind me. <laughs> She's sleeping. I think she doesn't want to be in the camera yet. <laughs> She's sending you all her love. So let's look at the Six of Cups energy in the recent past. you got the Wheel of Fortune reverse. There was a delay in the recent past. The Lovers... Gemini energy. There was a choice that you had to make because things were not in divine timing. And you got the tower. So there was, uh, in, a, in the recent past, there was some type, some type of, ex, uh, of uh, unexpected change that took place in your life, okay? Uh, this could have been with a lover, a friend, could be a twin flame, a soulmate, could be anything, okay? But there was some type of uh, 
uh, of unexpected change. The tower came in. Uh, it could also be someone that you were physically with that you were not in the physical with in the recent past. And with the Wheel of Fortune reversed, it talks about where things were not in divine timing in the recent past. Okay, now let's look at the Ace of Swords reversed here of what's crowning you. Okay, Ace of Swords. You got the Six of Cups again, the Six of Cups. Okay, maybe there's no communication, not seeing clearly, not being able to clarify what took place. This is about nostalgic memories as well, or it could be someone from your past. So why is the Ace of Swords reversed with the Six of Cups? The Five of Pentacles again with Justice reversed. Okay. This is what spirit wants you to focus on, okay? I'm going to just look at and show you this. He wants you to focus on, okay, the strength card, the justice card, and taking that leap of faith. Whether this has to do with, whether this has to do with business, love, okay? But look what's crowning you right now. And I feel for some of you, you are dealing with a twin flame energy. And now I know a lot of people don't believe in that. That's fine. Anybody can believe in anything that they want. But for those of you that have twin flames out there, this is a mirroring that's taking place, okay? The person you're dealing with is also going through the same time. But, uh, you know, everybody has their own uh, path and when it takes place, right? Again, maybe they're not seeing thing cl cl things clearly. There's something that needs to come into balance here, okay? Someone is not telling the truth, okay? There's some type of deception. It could be. Someone from your past, the Six of Cups, and they're feeling left out. But they choose to feel this way. They choose not to communicate. They choose not to, right, for whoever this message is for. So let me take an extra card on this. Yeah, the Four of Wands reversed. That offering is not coming in in the way that you want right now because they're going through their own, they're going through whatever that you've been going through and whatever that you've been working on, they're going through it now. Okay. Unhappy home, maybe not able to even have a home. Maybe some of you are scared of losing a home or it's them. I'm getting so many messages on this. Whatever that you've been putting energy on, do not give up. This is what I'm being heard. You're putting a lot of energy into this person or this situation here. And uh, they're thinking about you as much as you're thinking about them. And uh, maybe there's little to no communication. Maybe you get it from spirit or messages or signs that are coming in. That could also be it. Uh, it could also talk about their watching your social media. And you'll say, well, no, I blocked them. Yeah, but you can't block anybody from social media. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, even if you block someone, they could do a new, they could also do a new uh, profile and come in and check on you. Okay. Now let's look at the shadow side of this individual here. In immediate future. Why is this here? Got the page of cups reverse. Someone is not emotionally available right now. They're dealing with their inner child. They're uh, in a process from now, whether this is you or them, uh, of healing their inner child. With the Five of Swords reversed, with the Eight of Swords reversed, okay? Uh, they're going through a, maybe the Dark Knight of the Soul energy. Yeah. The wheel, it, will, it will come to success, whatever the situation is. Whatever the situation is. You got the Page of Cups reversed. The Five of Swords reversed, the Eight of Swords reversed, and the Elephant. This can be a marriage for some of you. This is about you. Uh, maybe you're dealing with someone that ha is uh, traditional. Uh, this is someone here right now. It also could also be about you learning all the, your life lessons at this time. Capricorn and about hitting the new paradigm shift. Okay, you're not feeling stuck in a situation. You're not overthinking and feeling stuck. In the immediate future, this is what it's showing me. For some of you, it could also be that some of you are going to go through a divorce and you're scared that financially you're not going to have enough money, but I do see that you're coming into money here. Financially, I see that you're good here, okay? Uh, the Five of Swords reversed is about standing up for yourself, uh, for people backstabbing you, people that were not there for you, lying, uh, deception, I do see that. And again, with the you got the Page of Cups reversed here 
Okay, this talks about someone healing their inner child. It could be someone that is not emotionally available at this time. There's a lot of shadow side that's taking place here. It's about healing the shadow side. And with the Six of Wands energy, I see success. Okay, there is success here for you. I do see that. But it takes, there's a process, right? You need to go through a process. Now, let's look at the Four of Swords reversed in what is supporting you. Why is the Four of Swords reversed here? You got... The Ace of Coins, that's good. You've got three Aces on the ground. No, you actually, you got four. No, you got four, 11, 11. So you've got the Ace of Coins. you got the Queen of Swords reversed. And you got the world reverse. Something is not completed. Unfinished business with a person in your life, whatever it is, the situation is. Okay, so the world reversed. Something is, un there's unfinished business here. And maybe you're dealing with someone with the Queen of Swords energy, someone that's very angry, is not seeing something, is not seeing, is not, is confused, no communication. Uh, someone that's angry here. There's something in this situation, but someone's coming out of this, okay? And they are, they're going to be offering the Ace of Pentacles, whether it's you, Capricorn, or the other person. This could be a start of something new, uh, something that's tangible. This could be a, a, a proposition, business proposition that's coming in, money, on a, a gift. It could be also a relationship that starts off with something, you know, some type of tangibility here. Now, let's look at the external influences of the death card scorpio energy you got the hermit reversed virgo energy you got the chariot and the ten of swords reverse so this Ten of Swords is reversed here. That's good because it means that you already went through this cycle. So there's something that has already been lifted. But there is a death and, a death and rebirth taking place and huge trans transformations taking place. Some of you were dealing with a Virgo or this happened in September, okay, where you had to go within, follow your own path. You had to take time out from family and friends. And uh, this was about reflecting, reassessing, and you're coming out of the, uh, the maybe at this time or you're going to be coming out of the uh, hermit mode, okay? And what I feel here is that you're going to be moving very quickly forward. So you're going to be moving quickly, moving away from a situation very quickly here, taking control of your life, taking control, and moving forward into more positive times, ambitious times. Some of you, this could be also buying a new vehicle, okay? And um, especially if there's distance or traveling involved, Cancerian energy here, Virgo, Scorpio. Now let's look at the Eight of Cups in the Hopes and Fears. You got the Hangman. You got the Nine of Wands reversed. And the Eight of Cups reversed. Okay, you're going to overcome the situation, whatever that you're walking away from, whatever the situation is, if it's, you know, if it's a person, a situation, if it's just your thoughts, your patterns, whatever it is that you walked away a life of what you knew to a new life, you're going to overcome it with the Eight of Cups reversed, okay? And uh, guards are down. This is about surrendering with the hangman. It's about surrendering. Okay, you were in the loop of a situation. Some of you are still releasing and going through the dark night of the soul. Please know that this will pass and everything will be okay. Because as I've been showing your cards, okay, there was, there's beautiful things coming for you. Okay, and uh, cards don't lie. I mean, this is what it is. Okay, yes, you're going through a lot of process here. Uh, but what I see here is, um, you know, you're not stalemate anymore. You're going to be releasing this, okay? Some of you are, are surrendering to this situation. And yes, you are going through the dark night of the soul. Just know that this will pass, okay? You're doing a lot of good work here. Now, let's look at the four cups reversed in the outcome, Capricorn. 
you got the Ten of Cups energy. And look at that. You got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. So maybe some of you who thought that something was over is coming back again. Mm -hmm. I do see that. Trust your intuition. Okay? It's about you trusting your intuition. It's very important. There's a universal secret here that you're not seeing. Okay, Judgment, Three of Cups, Energy. It's about celebration. Yeah, there will be celebration energy. Okay, so let's look at this. <laughs> okay, it's about accepting. There you go. Ten of Cups energy. When it's with when it's paired with the Ten of uh, Pentacles here, it's very strong. Okay, a family situation, a partnership it could be also a partnership, a soulmate energy for some of you. A beginning of a new relationship, beginning of new emotions and new uh, stability here. With the Ten of Cups energy. Okay. A lot of celebration taking place. Love, a lot of celebration between friends and family here. Uh, there's a, there is a judgment coming towards you because you've done the work. It's been very hard for you Capricorns. But trust your intuition because some of you are still uh, releasing, trying to purge, which is okay. It's about seeing the several, you keep focusing on the things that went bad and you're not looking at the things that were positive in your life, whatever the situation was. Okay, um, what I see here with the Five of Cups energy is that uh, it's about changing your perspective and looking at the two cups behind you. This shows me that this, whatever situation, whatever this is, it could be a life partner, a friend, whatever it is for you, there was, there was, a, it's a strong connection here. Okay, and let's look at the Queen of Pentacles and your overall energy. You got the Emperor reversed again twice. The Emperor reversed about letting go of the control the page of wands in divine timing the page of wands came out seeing the signs doors that were closed previously are going to be open behind the scenes that you're not seeing it's about trusting the five of wands energy you need to focus your energy or there's a lot of drama around you or at this time capricorn there's a lot of squares in your chart and uh yeah so it's not easy okay and the queen of cups energy could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It doesn't have to be. Very nurturing, very loving. This could be you and energy uh, into the money. Okay, like you're grounded and you're also very intuitive and open. Okay, here. Um, this talks about, the Page of Wands talks about, okay, in divine timing, seeing the signs coming in. And with the Emperor reversed, uh, some of you, this could be business it's about releasing, surrendering. It's about... Um, Letting go of um, control issues on the situation. And with the five of wands, it's about unfocused energy, scattered energy. Could be your, your, you know, your, some of you are going through the ringer at this time, but you're going to come out of it. Let me just take out one more card for the five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Knight of coins. There's someone coming back here, but they're taking their time, Capricorn. Okay. Could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It doesn't have to be the sign, but someone that is uh, coming back very slowly. They're calculating everything and they take their time to come back. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, the Ace of Swords cutting through the fog, cutting through people or situations. A lot of clarity. The Divine is coming in to give you clarity. This is what's taking place. You're going to see everything in, in, in the way that you need to know. And uh, a lot of communication and great, great ideas. Underneath the deck, I got the Two of Cups. Two people coming in together. Eternal love. This is what it is. Eternal love. Okay? Some of you are not sleeping at this time. You're uh, Maybe you're in a lot of fears or just the energies. Someone is resisting this offer or someone is resisting... Some people are, some of you are scared of change or have a lot of fears into that. But, you know, um, you're going through a passage right now. You're going through a passage, maybe in the unknown, you're feeling dark about, it. there's a lot of deception around you. Uh, but I do see that you're going to have a breakthrough. Some of you are really working hard karmically to release everything in this lifetime. And you're going to be doing it, okay? And there will be uh, wishes being fulfilled here, okay? But you need to remain patient. Okay, uh, work on that. Work on your healing. And um, everything else will just fall into place. So I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Oh, wait a second. I always forget. Let me take out a crystal card for you. 
Okay, for Capricorn. Capricorn. What crystal do they need in the... Oh, you got two that came out. You got the first one is Ocean ja Jasper. Ocean Jasper. And this is about uh, schedule yourself in. Schedule yourself in. It's about you. More you time. And the next one you got is Smoky Quartz. Smoky Quartz and Ocean Jasper. Let it go and schedule yourself in. Okay, these are your two crystals. I hope that you enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to like. Know that I have your back, Capricorn, and that I love you. And don't worry, things will pass. Things, like I said, beautiful things are coming for you. Everybody on the collective is going through this, but you guys are going through it the hardest because you're Capricorns. And we're all rooting for you. And actually, I am. Okay, so um, please take care, and I'll see you next week. Bye. I love you.